Hello everyone, um, in this video we will do the lesson number 28 which uh, we will draw this uh, piston and this will be the blueprints that we have available so it's very interesting how we are starting to understand all different dimensions sometimes when we see on the first side it looks uh, um, very scary but once we start reading the the plans it's not as scary as it looks so I hope you enjoy my video okay on solid work click on new file select part and click OK because these dimensions are millimeters so we have to change in solid work on this arrow, select on the menu the option that say millimeter, gram, and second. On the right plane, right click and select for new sketch. So we can start drawing all this overall shape. We have, uh, we should have one, two, three, and four step. Go straight, go down, and we close the shape because uh, on this shop drawing is not exactly specified uh, this dimension we will just draw this little part but as a reference uh, to get uh, some dimensions that we need to complete this shape but for the revolve option it won't be included because this cutout hole is not part of the revolve so click online tool this distance click on smart dimension is equal to 86 divided by 2 click on the option line again and we can go all the way straight for now click uh, there's going to be a step right here this part an angle 45 degrees and we can close the shape. Now we're going to draw all these steps one, two, and three steps. We have this one, two, and three steps right here. As we can see, this corner is aligned with this part. So this is aligned with this we can make coincident on trim entities we can delete this line and we know this part are equal based on the section detail 4.3 4.3 4.3 .3. so select holding control key and add the relation as an equal click on smart dimensions and this distance is equal to 4.3 these two distance are equal as well and there are a 5.7 click on smart dimension select this line 5.7 the top one is the largest one is a 7.3 this distance right here it's equal to 9.5 There is another dimension here, which is five millimeters. Uh, this angle right here, it's equal to 45 degrees. This distance is equal to two. Uh, this internal diameter, if we know this is 10 minus three, this is equal to seven from here to here. So we know from here to this line is equal to seven units now we are missing this height this is where we play this part we can draw so reference line so we know this is aligned with this uh, the cutout hole and we can close this as a rectangle we can draw a center line here 
just to know where it's going to be the center of this and this is going to be the internal uh, cutout hole just going to draw reference line in case we need to add some relations right here in distance like this and this line right here we're gonna see right now why I drew those so this diameter is equal to 33.8 so that's me from here to here is equal to 33.8. This thickness right here is equal to the thickness right here. So add the relation as an equal. And this is coincident with the bottom part. So this is, yeah, this line is coincident right here and how do we know with uh, the thickness well we know the center the top of this to the center of this crowd is equal to 55 so from here to the center is equal to 55 we're missing this diameter right here which is a uh, 78 so from this line to the center it's equal to 78 divided 2. Now we are all done uh, or we're just missing this is still on blue we had to make collinear all this line so let holding control key and make it collinear this is 76.6 .6 divided 2 this part right here so this diameter 76.6 .6 divided 2 now we are done this is the part that we need which is all black uh, the lines that's mean that it's all constrained we can add to the sketch click on future revolve option select axis or rotation is going to be this one and we click OK this will be the first step okay so the next step will be draw this internal uh, crack hole with this cylinder so to able to do that I will have to create a plane from the center to this point so to get this distance it will be 86 divided 2 minus this 25 so let's grab a calculator 86 is the diameter divided 2 from here to here is equal to 43 minus 25 so it will be 18 millimeters from here to here so on my solid uh, I will create on where it say plane and it adds for the first reference I will use the right plane and input the value of 18 units and I will click OK on this plane we right click select for new sketch you can right click and make a normal view click on circle we know this has to be on the center so we can add the relation as a vertical we know that this is tangent to this the outer diameter is tangent to this line right here so we can add the relation as tangent and the distance from the top of the cylinder to this center is equal to 55 millimeters as is specified here so we can click on future extrude option and click on this menu where it say up to surface we can click on the internal surface of the piston we have to reverse the direction on this point because we want from this plane to the nearest surface so click here on this arrow where it say reverse direction and we click 
Okay. Now we're ready to make the cutout hole, which will be 33.8 diameter. We click on right click on the surface, select new sketch, draw a circle right here, clip the circle, clip the circle, and add the relation as a concentric. Click on smart dimension. The distance will be 33.8. Click on Fisher Extrude Cut. And on the drop down menu up to surface, and it will be the outer surface. We have to again reverse the direction and we click OK. Now we have to draw all, uh, this group, which will be a distance of 15, because from here to here, 25 minus 10, it's uh, 15 units. So we can create a new plane at this point. Click on plane, select this surface. 15 units will be the distance and we have to reverse the direction where the plane will be created which it's in this uh, check mark box where it say flip upset uh, click OK now click on view orientation and select from this side we will create a sketch on the new plane that we just created and we will draw a circle concentric to this hole which is concentric and uh, the diameter is this 37.8 click on smart dimension this is 37.8 which is a little bigger and the internal will be this so we can uh, click on convert entities. Now we are ready to click on feature a true cut and the distance is equal to three millimeters. So we click on line three millimeters and it will be let's check the direction. The direction is okay. We click OK. Now this part is all done. We just have to make exactly the same this, but in the other side of the piston. So we don't have to draw again, just cl click on the option that say mirror. It say mirror face plane, that will be the reference plane. In this case, will be the right plane. And what are the uh, features to mirror? It will be the cut strut. Uh, this hole uh, in the middle and the uh, outer uh, cylinder. We click OK and now as we can see our um, piston is almost done. The next step it will be just adding this filler which is the 6.4 on the top Let's do that. Click on fill it option. On the radius, input the value of 6.4 and select this edge. We click OK. And the next one will be this one radius uh, to around the cylinder. So click on fill it again, change the value to 2, and we select this part and this part and we click OK. Now this has been all set and I hope you like uh, my video and tutorial. Actually we will be using this piece, uh, the same model, uh, to build uh, an assembly for an engine. So if you're doing our tutorial, uh, you can save these files because it will be used in the future. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Thank you. See you next one.